Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if y is equal to y of x, that's a solution of a differential equation given to us as 2x squared dy over dx minus 2xy plus 3y squared is equal to 0. So we have been given this differential equation. And further the question tells us if this differential equation is present such that y of e it's given to us as e of 3 e over 3 and the question is asking us to find out the value of y of 1 and if i talk about the answer choices that are given to us here in this question the options are a 1 over 3 b 2 over 3 c 3 over 2 and the last answer choice that is given to us here is 3. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. Let's see how to solve this question further. So we have a differential equation which is given to us as 2x squared dy by dx minus 2xy plus 3y squared is equal to 0. So once I have this entire differential equation given to us, we need to figure out how to solve this further. So if I try to solve this further, let's see how do we do that. So if I try to take out some things common from here or let's take first of all the other two terms on the right hand side. So I get 2xy minus 3y squared. Now once I have that with me, I just multiply dx on the other side and that gives me 2x squared dy is equal to 2xy minus 3y squared multiplied with dx. Now once I have this entire thing with me, further if I try to solve it, 2x squared dy is 2xy dx minus 3y squared dx. Now once I have this taking everything on one side again I get 2x squared dy minus 2xy dx plus 3y squared dx equals to 0. So from here I get from the first two terms 2x is common. So I get x dy minus y dx plus 3y square dx equals 0. So once I have this entire thing with me, I am dividing throughout by let's say y square. So what do I get here? Let's further talk about that. So if I am dividing throughout by y square and with dx I need x terms, I will divide also by x. So if I divide throughout by x into y square, so dividing by x y square. So if I'm dividing by x and y square, I get 2x x dy minus y dx divided by x square. Sorry, x into y square plus this becomes 3y square dx divided by x into y square equals 0. So y square and y square gets cancelled. You are left with 3 dx over x is equal to 0. In the first term, if I see it gets me x cancelled. So once I get x cancelled, I get two times x dy minus y dx divided by y square. Now if I try to see this x dy minus y dx divided by y square, I get reminded of a quotient rule from differentiation which says that whenever you want to find the derivative of a two functions who are divided u over v. So if I want to find the derivative of u over v, I used to do v into derivative of u minus u into derivative of v divided by v square. So if I use this idea here to understand, I get this 
that first of all, it is V square means it should be Y square. So when it is V square, V DX should be ahead and X DY should be behind this. So if I take out minus sign common, or if I take this other thing entirely on the other side, I get three DX over X is equals to, if I'm taking this entire thing here to common, and x dy minus y dx, instead of that, if I'm taking on the other side, it becomes plus y dx and minus x dy. So y dx minus x dy divided by this. So now you have it in the form v into derivative of u minus u into derivative of v over v square. So three times dx over x is equal to two times y dx minus x dy over y square. So if I see it's nothing but derivative of x over y. So when you get this idea, I have three dx over x two times and it's derivative of x over y. So if I integrate both the sides, because I have to find the solution of this differential equation. So if I'm integrating both the sides here, I get this as three log of x is equal to two times Integral and derivative, we know they are exactly opposite. So you're just left with x over y as your function. So integration of derivative of x over y. So integration and derivative canceling each other. So you're getting just x over y plus a constant of differential equation c. So from here, you get this c. Further, if I try to solve this, so this becomes my solution of the differential equation. Now, once I have the solution of differential equation, the condition says, at x equals to e, y is e over 3. So if I use that idea, so at x equals to e, we have been given y is equal to e over 3. So if I put that in my solution of the differential equation, it is of the form 3 times natural log of e is equal to 2 times e over y in this case, which is e over 3 plus c. So this and this cancels, you get 6. This becomes natural log of e means it is to the base e. So log e to the base e is 1. So 3 is 6 plus c and c becomes 3 minus 6, which is minus 3. So you get from here c is minus 3, which is nothing but the differential constant, which is minus 3. So from here, you get your solution of the differential equation in the form 3 natural log of x is equals to 2x over y minus 3. And once I have this entire solution of the differential equation, the question now, if I see, it's asking me to figure out what is y at x equals to 1. So let's put that and find out what is y at x equals to 1. So at x equals to 1, if I want to figure out what is the value of y, I'm putting 3 natural log of 1 is equals to 2 into 1 over y minus 3. So that gives you 3 natural log of 1 is 0 because log of 1 to any base is always 0. So 3 into 0 is 0. So you get 2 over y minus 3. So from here I get 2 over y is plus 3 and from here I get y is 2 over 3. So I get the answer for the question that is asked to us that what is the value of y at x equals to 1? That is 2 over 3. So answer for the question becomes here option B. So B becomes a correct answer here. I hope you have understood how to solve this differential equation. So first we figured out and tried to manipulate the equation so that it becomes in the form which we require it to be. Once I have that, I use the idea of quotient rule from differential equation to understand that it's nothing but the derivative of u over v form. And once I use that, I just integrated and found the solution of differential equation. I put the conditions to get the value of c. That was minus 3. And once I got that, I found out the value they have asked us to. So that gives me the value of y as 2 over 3, which basically matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, 
please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.